Aloha guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapin' 2. Today I'm going to be making a card using this Endless Wishes stamp set. This is a photopolymer stamp set. And um, it's going to be a simple card today. And um, I already uh, mounted um, the stamp set I'm going to be using. And this is a watercolor paper measuring three and three quarter by five. And um, I have basic black measuring four by five and a quarter and um, a two size card base. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to be embossing on the watercolor paper. So I'll be using the embossing buddy to take away um, any of the static on the paper and um, I'm going to use first mark and I'm going to stamp out um, the snowflakes so I'm going to start with the large uh, snowflake and then um, I'm going to go with the medium. You can't really, it's hard to see on a white piece of paper. Um, this is the medium um, size and then the smallest size um, snowflake. And I'm going to be embossing this with a white embossing powder. So here is my uh, white embossing powder and then put it on the entire card card front and I don't know if you can see the white on it it's kinda hard white on white and I'm going to be um, using uh, water on this later so I'm going to um, zap it with the heat gun. Here I am just um, using the heat gun, kind of um, preheating it and then um, putting, trying to heat the white embossing paper pa um, powder. So you can kind of tell that um, it's finished when um, it kind of turns shiny. So I'm embossing still, I mean, um, heating up the embossing powder. It's kind of hard to see, so I'm kind of tilting it. And um, it's done. And so now I have a clipboard here. And um, I'm going to be taping down the sides using uh, a washi tape any uh, washi tape or you could use painter's tape um, I just want the um, paper to lie flat because I'm going to be adding a lot of water to this paper so I want just the slight um, border can't really call it a border I just um, putting just enough so that the paper will stay down okay so it'll stay flat and I have water here and a water brush and I'm using Pacific Point um, pool party and soft sky but I end up not using the soft sky at all because it is very light um, so I'm putting water all over the paper and I kind of want it like a gradient look from dark to light and here I am squeezing the Pacific Point to get um, some ink on the um, top of the ink pad but as you can see um, it's not that dark you can't really see it so um, I do kind of um, use the pool party too at the top but you you can barely see it so I'll um, be grabbing another color 
um, and I will be getting a darker blue from um, the Tim Holtz Distress Ink um, Chip Sapphire because um, I'm putting um, the covering the entire um, paper with the Pacific Point and it's as you can see it's not that dark and the uh, snowflakes don't really show up and so here I am um, like I said getting um, the chip sapphire and um, putting in at the bottom so it kind of um, blends the two colors together so the bottom will be darker than the top and um, there's some water puddles on the edges and I kind of um, I'm soaking it up with the towel because I don't want uh, puddles of water at the edge and here I am drying the um, paper and when because it's taped down um, and the watercolor paper usually warp a little so that's why um, I taped it down so then it'll stay um, more flat so I'm drying um, the colors and you can see the snowflakes um, better now and the two colors from the dark to the light, um, the gradient look. So I'm going to be taking off the washi tape very gently so it doesn't rip uh, my watercolor paper. You can use anything that's kind of flat um, and there you can see um, the snowflakes, the white embossed snowflakes. Um, so I'm getting um, my black piece and my card base and I'm going to be um, adhering it down uh, using um, the Tombow multi, um, Tombow Mono Multi Glue and layering it to the black piece and then um, making it kind of flat and I'm going to be grabbing our um, baker's twine this um, the silver uh, baker's twine this has um, uh, the silvery um, kind of um, thing inside the baker's twine and I'm going to wrap it around the bot towards the bottom I'm only wrapping it like twice and then i um, cutting it off and then I'm also gonna cut um, a little bit just enough um, I'm putting this onto the card base first I guess and then I'm going to be tying a bow so I'm cutting off a small uh, piece just enough for me to tie the bow and um, I kind of went through um, under the baker's twine that's already there and so I'm kind of tying it on to the existing um, baker's twine so and I um, this is a watercolor paper too I, a strip maybe an inch of um, watercolor paper that I already um, stamped and embossed it in black uh, embossing powder and here I am I'm trying to just add a little bit of color not too much to the um, the banner as well for our greeting and as you can see it kind of warped because I put um, too much water and so I'm going to be um, drying it with the heat gun again and it dries pretty fast and I'm going to put it um, about here uh, putting dimensionals on the back oh before that I'm kind of edging um, putting ink on the edges with the Pacific Point I just used the um, ink pad instead of using like a sponge because I didn't have a sponge um, near me. So I took off the dimensionals and I'm just adhering it down. 
So this is my card for today. Um, it's not quite as I wanted it to be. Like I wanted it to be a little bit darker, but this is okay. So thank you for watching.